For over 140 years, the library at Stevens has been collecting, cataloging, and preserving historical items. The goal of Special Collections is to preserve the legacy items, to disseminate the information for researchers, students, alumni, and the world at large. The Leonardo da Vinci collection is one of the most amazing facsimile collections. Any fine university will have a collection of artworks and of scholarly works that exemplifies what it's all about. And the fact that we are home to this collection of works dedicated and devoted to the work of Leonardo da Vinci is perfect for Stevens and its mission. We have facsimiles of most of Leonardo da Vinci's notebooks including the Codex Atlanticus, the anatomical drawings, the Codex Leicester. We have first editions of Leonardo's Treaty on Painting in both French and Italian from the 1640s. When I started working here, I found a, a listing in the bibliography for a 1509 edition of the De Divina Proportionate by Luca Paucioli. Luca Paucioli was one of the foremost geometers and mathematicians of his age. De Divina Proportione is, among many things, an exaltation of the golden ratio of mathematics and its central place in understanding everything from painting, sculpture, and architecture to music, poetry, and philosophy. The Divine Proportion was written by a mathematician who was the tutor to Leonardo da Vinci. He is the one who taught Leonardo mathematics. Leonardo represents an ideal that has been at the heart of Stevens from its inception over 140 years ago. That is the recognition that a complete education is one that is broad and expansive, focusing no less on the arts and humanities than on science and mathematics. This book is significant because the polyhedral drawings of Leonardo da Vinci represent the first time that three-dimensional polyhedral drawings appear on the printed page. The De Divina Proportionate is a tactile link to the past, tactile link that moment in the Renaissance when art and science become one. Currently the book is on display in President Pravardin's office and we hope to establish more displays around the university. The fact that Stevens is home to this rare treasure trove of materials devoted to the study and appreciation of the work of Leonardo is appropriate for so many reasons. It is precisely that spirit of creativity and imagination that one finds in Leonardo that remains at the core of what we try to foster here at Stevens. That is the spirit with which this institute was founded, a sentiment expressed so eloquently by Edwin A. Stevens back in 1871 when he requested that this new university include a department of belles lettres in order, in his words, to furnish the means of acquiring that cultivation of literary taste and the facility of graceful use of language, both in speaking and writing, which is desirable in the engineer and man of science no less as in the classical student. The genius of Leonardo typifies the very mission of the College of Arts and Letters here at Stevens, as we aim to bring together the often disparate worlds of arts and humanities with those of science, engineering, and technology. Having this collection here in our midst as a possible source for inspiration is a great benefit to the entire community as we continue to forge our path as the Innovation University. The installation of Pacioli's work is only the beginning. In the future, we hope to use the collections here to inspire students to become like Leonardo themselves in their own studies, in their own engineering, in their own artwork. We want to share the collections with students, faculty, and the world at large.